Thank you, Andrea Wino, for that particular update on the pandemic now to our special segment. For several decades now, Kenyatta University has been a leading institution when it comes to inclusion matters. The efforts have ever seen students with disabilities exploit the rich resources availed at the university for the betterment of their lives, successful careers, as well as development of the general society. Kenyatta University was established in 1985. At the time, the institution was only offering teaching courses. At that time, the institution admitted only few students living with disability, especially the visual impaired, maybe main reason being lack of accommodative infrastructure. As the time goes by, the situation started changing for the better. Advocacy by the then students living with disability in the university playing key role to the changing inclusion and accommodative measures. The directorate started off as a coordinating office in 2007, but it became a fully fledged directorate in 2010. February 2010, uh, with the idea that uh, disability mainstreaming needed to be done in a more centralized, more focused way, so that um, service delivery could be more effective. And so the university management uh, rightfully uh, realized that we needed um, a space where things could be done in a much more structured way, much more focused manner than was previously the case, hence the establishment of the directorate. Reasonable services offered by the university has not only attracted students with disabilities around the country, but across the globe as well. They ask for back to... In my tour around the campus, I meet Emmanuel. He is not a Kenyan. I'm attracted by the way he smiles and his beautiful English-speaking accent. As my custom, I sit down with him, loaded with curiosity, to know why he traveled all the way to Kenya to quench thirst for education. Um, Kenyatta University structures, the structures within the institution is just amazing. With the lifts and everything, it makes you very easy to just... Um, I'm speaking from the point of view of a physically challenged student because probably the um, persons with um, hearing impairment or the visual, visually impaired people might have their peculiar problems. But with a, as a person who is physically challenged, I think the structures favor me a lot. For now, the Disability Directorate at Kenyatta University registers more than 127 students, most of these being students with visual impairments. They say they can't see, but at heart, believe they are equipped with inner eyes that make them competent to the normal people should the ground be made level. Disability mainstreaming, particularly the education of students with disabilities at university level, should not just be the work of Kenyatta University. All universities must develop their own capacity to cater for this group. Otherwise, all the students with disabilities who aspire to join university cannot be catered for at Kenyatta University. The thing is, it is a great disservice to disability mainstreaming for any university to refuse to admit a student with a disability into their uh, institution and refer them to Kenyatta University simply because they have a disability and as they say, and I've heard this myself, I've been told this countless times, oh, Kenyatta University knows how to take care of these people. The Special Directorate to Students with Disabilities hails highly the cooperation it receives from other departments as well as the support it gets from the university management, saying it helps them offer quality services to enable students realize their dreams. University funding service, that is a very, very important body that should be made to look keenly at how university funding for students with disabilities 
is calculated so that even those other institutions are enabled to take the, the, the students with disabilities on board. Kenyatta University is located on a flat large ground with beautiful classic buildings. Its vast fields can make one imagine the struggles students face while walking, when attending lectures or even visit the library for research and assignments. However, that might not be the case here. This vehicle here, nicknamed Maruti, and which is respected by both students, teaching and non-teaching staff, is on standby to ferry such students. Commonly known as Maruti, it is the only vehicle in the university that carries students with disabilities. But to understand how we can access the services of this vehicle, here we have the driver. Fanya services ya kubeba students with disabilities katika hii chuo. Na in order wako kupata hizi services, kuna zile namba ambazo huwa tunapatiana kwa students. Kuna zo simu mbili. Na number zenyewe huwa wanapiga ndiyo wapate services zenye. When it comes to matters meals, the university policy does not allow students to cook in the hostels. However, the bellies and tummies here are well catered for, with students with disabilities given the first priority. So I serve them wholeheartedly because it's not their will to be how they are. With the rich resources and services offered at this university, the students with disabilities are determined and hopeful to exploit them effectively for the betterment of their lives in and out of the campus. Emmanuel, who is finalizing his master's, hoping to carry some of the achievement secrets to his home university in Ghana. For KU, I've never seen, it's very disability friendly. Of course, my school has, but then they are not that disability friendly. With, um, with regards to the structures, to that of KU. And one, one significant and important thing is the ability of you getting um, the, what's the name Maruti. of that, Maruti, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to go wherever you want to go. You just have to just, you just call and then you, it's a great initiative that Kenyatta University has taken. And I think if all the other institutions take that course, it will be a marvelous thing. Stephen Masha, KUTV, Nairobi. All right, thank you, Stephen Masha, for that particular story. Indeed, we loud Kenyatta University for being an inclusive community for students who are able differently. We hope that disability mainstreaming will be done 